Hey friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my channel. You know I'm always thrilled to have you. So today I have a tutorial for you all about how to photograph shiny artwork. Now photographing artwork is kind of a challenge already, but photographing shiny artwork is can be kind of a nightmare. I mean, just getting that glare is just unbelievable. Oh, hello butterfly. <laughs> um, getting that glare taken care of is unbelievable and can be so difficult. And I've actually been struggling with this a bit myself because I'm now doing the acrylic pour resin layer paintings and so they are all like shiny as glass and it's like, oh my gosh. So anyways, I actually did a little research and found a very, very simple technique for doing these photographs. You're going to want to do them outside. I'm going to talk a little bit about the best sort of conditions for photographing outside and then I'm going to show you how to make this really very simple cardboard contraption that is just going to do worlds for your shiny art. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, think about hitting that subscribe button. It really helps grow my channel and it makes sure you come back over and over again. Um, I'm actually going to be shooting this in my outdoor bathroom because this is where I found the best lighting and if you're curious about seeing more details about my amazing outdoor bathroom or tiny house here in Hawaii, check around for links because I actually have a really fun uh, studio tour that I made for you guys a few months ago. Anyways, glad to have you. Mwah! Thanks guys! So for this project, you're going to need a large piece of cardboard as well as a cap or some sort of round circular object that is slightly larger than the lens of your camera, as well as flat black matte paint. Now you can use either spray paint or paintbrush paint. I'm going to use both. The reason I have decided to use both kinds of paint for this is because I feel like a lot of times when you try to use spray paint to completely cover a surface, it can come out really splotchy. And this is going to be what guards against glare reflecting all over my painting. So I really want it to be a very nice full covered black surface. I really don't want any of the brown of the cardboard to be peeking through. However, my house paint has a slight gloss to it, so I think the matte of the spray paint will help get down any shine. Also, yes, I started enjoying Alicia Keys a little bit too much during this making of this video. So now I'm just going to go over it a few times with my matte black spray paint. This is just going to stifle any possible glare from the medium gloss finish on the paint. Next, I'm going to cut the hole for my camera lens. So I'm gonna use my little traceable surface and find the middle of this piece of cardboard, trace around it, and then cut as carefully as I can a little circle. Next, it's going to be time to scope out a place to take these photos. Now, you really want to use natural lighting at dawn or dusk is going to be your best time. The cool, indirect, even toned lighting is the very best way to take photographs. Your colors will really resonate without being too garish and of course you don't want the warmth of the sun to alter and make things look too yellowish. Now I am going to be using my outdoor bathroom because of the situation it makes for very low glare and very even lighting. I can also control everything that's going on around me and I'm not going to have any sort of bright spots or areas in the back. Find a place similar like this around your house and you will have successful shooting. Now for this final step you're going to need to either have a buddy to help you or you're going to want some clamps and a stand of some sort. I luckily have a couple of clamps that I use for everything as well as an old light stand so I was able to set up my cardboard. Trust me, you definitely have to do something like this because you will not be able to hold it up steady as well as take a nice clear photo. And that's basically it, folks. You just take your camera and stick it through that little hole right there and take photos of your shiny art. You want to make sure that your camera is, of course, parallel to the angle of the artwork, and that's going to help make sure that the glare is down. But really, with this simple contraption, it does a whole lot of great work. Check out a few of the photos I got from this setup. I can't believe it after such a hard time I was having. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I hope you learned so much. Please hit that subscribe button and come back and see me. Thanks. Hey.